Um, so this is day four of the shoot for the Room documentary. So we are in a bar in Culver City and we are shooting a scene with Juliet, uh, Danielle, and Craig Kowski, who Craig plays the documentarian and she plays herself. And we've just shot the indoor stuff and we're, we're shoot, we shot a little bit outside now, we're about to shoot on the side of the parking lot. Um, so yeah, we had three days last weekend, it went great. We shot Kyle's stuff, Greg Ellery's stuff, and Philip's stuff. And Carol and stuff, so we got a lot of people. And then tomorrow is me, um, Dan J, Dan Jen Jiggin, and then the documentarian, some more stuff. And so it's good. I'm excited about this. It's going well so far. Awesome. It's been a long, like a long process. We've um, been working on it for two, probably about two years ago. I had the original idea and then pitched it to the room actors, and but then it was just like a nugget of an idea. And it kind of went from there. And now I've got eight episodes written, and this is the pilot. And That's hoping great. we get to shoot the rest of the series, too. So is everything going on schedule today? So far, so good. The sun's coming up. We kind of want some uh, darkness for the scene, so we're kind of racing against the sun. It's like 6.10, right? 6.05. The sun rises at 6.30. So we're really hurrying to get the lighting. Um, it's okay. It's a little, you know, a little dawn-ish, but we don't want full-on sunlight, so... It's, yeah, but we'll do it. It's good. It's a, it's a decent day. Tomorrow, I'm a little worried. I've got a lot to shoot. So, talk to me about Stephanie. So, Stephanie came all the way over here. Yeah, Stephanie is our one of our VIP backers, and she got a part, a, a, an extra role with her donation. So, she is in Boston, and she flew all the way here. She's never been to LA and flew all the way to be in this scene. So, it was awesome. Last week, we had a bunch of other VIP backers also. They were so cool, and it's like, so amazing that they spent their time and their money and uh, to come out here and support us and it means a lot and it's good to know we've got some fans who want to see this project who are waiting for this project to be done and it makes us feel encouraged that like we're doing something that people want to see. Action! <laughs> Ms. Julian. Yeah, Robin, the director, is an old improv student of mine from years ago in Chicago. I've been teaching improv classes a long ass time. Uh, and I guess she thought of me for the role of the documentarian and hadn't heard from her in a while. We're friends on Facebook, uh, but she contacted me and uh, asked if I'd be interested and I thought the script was really funny. And the rest is history. Hi, I've gotten to that point. We're just like, having lunch, there. breakfast, you know, like after breakfast after lunch after our day. I just got chills because I'm so tired, I think. But I'm not totally sure. Yeah. It's not too not much. sure what I'm it is. Sure it's that queasy tired. Right. Like queasy, queasy. I've been up oh, yeah. odd hours and I've been sleeping weird hours for the last, I don't know. I don't know what day it is. I have no idea what time it is. Yeah. No, I just got my watch fixed. Last weekend it didn't work. Yeah. And I literally had no idea what time it was. It was it's okay. I got, I'm, I'm tracking the time <laughs> for you. It's actually good <laughs> to not know. Just going by like daylight. Yeah. It looks like it's about 7.08. I know I need food, but I just... It doesn't feel good going in right now. I know. It yeah. It feels like the opposite of what food should feel like. Oh, so it feels like going out? No. It doesn't out. feel like that. <laughs> you went too far. I always do. <laughs> that's you true. Always, that's an example of this. this that's is. true. Coffee. This whole thing is going too far, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Mm. Um, we've got our props people over here. Oh, yeah. Props. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> yep, they're on point too. Don't take that yes. as how they are. Script supervisor. Scripty. Hey. Hey audience. Or person that or person at home. I don't know if this is actually an audience or just a single guy. But I'm, I'm not a single guy. I mean I'm a single guy, but I'm not a single guy. Just let you know. That's up. Pick up ladies. That's what you're doing. Hey, you're just, just saying it's the chance. So. Well, I'm I could be. I've got the ladies here. That's how I got the job. <laughs> yeah. What did they know? This is our producer. This is also the butt. I played a butt crack. Yeah. It was so believable. It was like the best butt acting. I was saying, I went to yeah, acting. For four years. Just doing that part. 
took yeah. a while to get to just the right level of plumbing crack. slash acting school. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Plumbing school for four years. And the then way you were hunched we're over, school. it looked so believable, like you really were passed out, and the crack did some of the acting school. Yeah. yeah. I was like that. Okay, good. Sure. Couldn't get tired. Like, you know, it was the middle of the night. Today's going great. We're actually almost done. We're done with all the difficult things, so now we're just doing um, my uh, stalker husband falling out of the tree. So, um, I'm really glad because I'm really tired <laughs> sleepy. Yeah, it was, and it was an early morning and then, so how, how was the transition between like the early morning into daylight? Was that? Oh, the, the transition from night into morning, um, actually was great because as soon as the sun comes up, it's kind of like a little boost and so it made me feel a little bit better. And I had a lot of coffee, so it's good. Are you excited for this next scene? I am. I'm really excited for the next scene um, because um, I get to scream and hopefully like the neighbors won't come out and think that I'm being abducted. And then you get to see Richardson in a tree. Richardson is hilarious, so I really can't wait to see what he does in the tree to make us laugh even more. That's so after today's over, <laughs> see, I'm doing the salted. <laughs> so we've been shooting um, stuff on a couch where I am um, being very creepy and um, but very affectionate to my wife, my the gorgeous Juliet. She's a celebrity signing her autograph right now. Oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been like super fun. And um, it's more of a physical role, kind of. Well, are you excited for this next scene? Yes. So I'm going to be in a tree, and uh, I'm going to fall out of a tree, and that's about as much as I know. But I'm like, I'm stalking her so I'm like in a tree getting a perspective on her room and she comes back from like a wild night out it's morning it's a walk of shame for her and I guess she's gonna scream and I'm gonna fall out of the tree in some capacity it'll you know okay. it's gonna be a surprise are you nervous no no we're in great hands like Robin is amazing everybody are everybody's amazing Hunter's amazing so I feel very very taken care of and very good. Okay. I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. Can you give me a little sample of, of your stalker face? <laughs> so cool to like see something that you write actually happen. First time. <laughs> Are you nervous about him in the tree? Um, a little bit, a little bit, but he's, he seems like a pretty sturdy guy. I think he's going to be okay.